What is going on? I'm Zedmot. That is Zedmot over there in your creator boost in every single Supercell game, expiring every seven days, super duper annoying. This is going to be one of those mega videos where we do all of the things, not necessarily in any particular order, but first and foremost, in the warships we go. Made diamond yesterday, claimed a chest in diamond yesterday, and then fell all the way down to like rank 19, losing to everyone this morning. Got back in, we're gonna claim that chest in diamond, held out for like hours not claiming that chest. Gonna show you my tech tree. The only changes from previous videos is I went back and got that troop damage. I think I got shock launchers with you guys here yesterday. Regardless, I've got shock launchers. So step one, of course, get to six engine rooms. Avoid all of the noise back there because barrage is an absolute game changer. Sixes beat fives 99% of the time, unless it's me being overly cocky and screwing up. So we now have the shock launchers. Now I need to decide, do I go forwards towards those heavy choppas like many, many people are doing, or do I def get some defenses and get the critter launchers? Getting heavy choppas is kind of dependent on heavies. I don't have those, so many, many, many choices. Not going to show you any live hits on this account for obvious reasons. Lots and lots of struggles on my part. But I am going to show you the basics of what I've been doing. So first, we're going to do a drawing. Uh, this person's base doesn't have shock launchers. Actually, does have, does have shock launchers. Duh, they're right about there. We're gonna switch to yellow because yellow is the best, obviously, for drawings. Now, this hit needs something. You probably wanna have at least one GBE node. Uh, it works without troop damage, but it works better with troop damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send bullet into this neighborhood, not this way, because then the shock blaster would catch him. So we're gonna go this way and we're gonna BART out that engine room right there. I don't draw well when I'm zoomed out. So we're gonna BART that puppy out. That of course is gonna be two barrage and four artillery if you've got them maxed. Again, many calculators out there that'll help you out with those. So we've got two boats of seekers coming in Maybe we should change them to be blue because Seekers are going to be different colors than Bullet. We're going to send two boats of Seekers to that engine room, three boats of Seekers to that engine room, and of course, three boats of Seekers to that engine room. By getting rid of this middle path, it cleans things up so, so much. I'll show you right now with this replay. I'm almost certain I used that strategy. Oh, of course, I've sent Bullet on that right-hand side. Uh, we used smokes though, so clearly you need smokes to do it that way. So doing it the other way would have worked as well, but we ended up getting bullet taunting that shock launcher, which gives us a little bit of extra value. Back here, getting that shock out on the critter launcher and that microwaver. And then this shock launcher, of course, is gonna be a pain, but it's doing double duty. Can't figure out which of our seekers it wants to attack. And then taken down the base. Clearly having extra gunboat energy there would have made that a bit better. Now with this base, this base by the way copied from Orion who is in rank 22 or 23, same sort of thing. Walking through, barting it out, and then as we get there sending those seekers way 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 out wide, getting the shocks out, clearing some shock mines, and then just using our GBE to speed things up a little bit. Um, what you can also do is you can do things like send bullet. We'll do a screenshot here where instead of using taunt, you send bullet, who of course was yellow as per our previous drawing, sending bullet back to get an engine room, sending our seekers over on this right hand side to get all of these engine rooms, and then barting out this one. It doesn't really work. I tried it for me. Without the extra gunboat energy, it doesn't work all that terribly well. Uh, I also didn't try it since having bullet with troop damage. So unless you've got 100% GBE or you've got the troop damage, I wouldn't give that one a go. Also on this base, that shock launcher is going to ruin things for you a little bit, but do keep that hit in mind as well. It's not all bullet taunt. Let's show one more um, just to show 
Like this is my standard hit now. Uh, just that middle engine room is so protected. People have got that shock launcher, that shock launcher, and that shock blaster protecting it. So we're just gonna ignore that and send bullet in again, using those smokes. Maybe don't need to, but I just wanna make sure that bullet gets where I want him to be. And then throwing out all of the artilleries. Those two boats, by the way, end up being helpful. Not every time, but many times. And then you can see bullets standing in the middle of those shock launchers, um, doing some good things. Those critters, I mean, those seekers right there, if you noticed, started going towards the flare, which is not super awesome. That is a bug that the dev team is aware of and working on. If it's ever fixed, we don't know, but let's jump in and see what we can do next, shall we? On the operation side of things, the red buses, the red tanks of fire, I guess you can't call them buses anymore. I actually used a um, mole man from Simpsons in a scorcher thumbnail a long, long time ago. That's why the word buses came to mind, but operations so, so, so ridiculous at the moment with these red, red fire tanks, for lack of a better term. We are gonna send them way, way, way over here, avoiding those shock launchers. We know at some point that grappler is going to be a problem. That's why we're going over here. We're gonna try to get rid of that grappler. Uh, we can do, when grapplers first came out, this trick was very, very new and amazing and obvious. Uh, it took a little bit of time for us to figure it out though. It was kind of embarrassing how long it took for us to figure this out. Throw a smoke, use that Grappler Express, get all of your defenses underneath there, and then we're just gonna throw a shock onto that Critter Launcher, onto that Boom Cannon, getting rid of the Grappler. And then as soon as that's gone, we definitely, definitely, definitely need it gone, by the way, because of where we're going next. We're going to send all of our troops back in here using a couple smokes to get away from that shock launcher. Don't have to be perfect. You can use gappy smokes. Kavon is dead. No big deal there. And obviously, we have moved to the point where we no longer have good temporary gunboat abilities. Previously, we had remote hack. We had tiny shock. We had speed serum. Everything was fantastic. And now we've got these explosive drones, which maybe if we play our cards right, if we throw them like in this corner, we might be able to get one building down with them. By the way, these Scorchers do have life leech. They are self-healing. Come on, dudes. Come on, dudes. Ah, so, so good. Probably the worst temporary gunboat ability. I mean, even like the Crystal Shield, at least we can get some use out of them. But do consider using these Scorchers on Operation Attacks. I don't tend to say or recommend using Scorchers on Operation Hits, but in this instance right now, they are so, so good. Let's throw a smoke over here just so we don't waste some gold, saving that Scorcher because it is in danger, danger, I was gonna say dangerous peril, but I don't think those two words work together. We lost zero troops, Kavan died as Kavan tends to do, and we took down Centaur on dead end. So definitely not my standard attack, but use smoke even when using Scorchers. As you saw there, you can use them to hide from the grappler. You can use them to get away from the shock launcher. Smoke makes everything better. And this tech tree I have not shown much because it is just an absolute mess. I have gone full FOMO on this account, as you can tell by the fact that I've got shocks, I've got both of the building damage nodes, one there and then one over there. Um, I've got my Scorchers maxed, I've got the Doom Cannon, I've got Seekers, I've got Bombardiers. I literally have like everything you can get. Why you ask? I don't know. Um, I just trying to do something different and as a result just made so many poor choices. At least we got that extra cannon there. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing as far as attacks go. A uh, win-loss, win-loss, not really paying much attention to this account to be super duper honest. Just, I've got instant training. I've got instant training on two accounts. I don't even know why I've got it on two accounts at this point, but it just, that's what I've always done. So that's what we're gonna continue to do for the moment. 
We're gonna send you guys in here. One, two, three. I'm gonna send you guys one, two, three over here. Notice that I'm using riflemen. I was using heavies for the longest time, and then I realized really, really don't need heavies on most of these bases. Just sending in riflemen tends to be good enough. Um, getting enough value out of those guys. You know what? Let's get rid of you because after we get rid of that, we should be able to just walk through all of this stuff. Don't need to get all of the engine rooms for obvious reasons. We're going to throw some GBE towards that back one there, and then just Kavon is walking through on that right-hand side, and our troops are walking through on this left. The left ones are likely going to be the first ones to die simply because of the fact that um, that shock blaster is going to be a bit of a pain, but it seems like it's not going to be as much of a pain as I thought it was going to be. So just walking through things, trying to avoid getting too many of our riflemen within range of that um, critter launcher, and I've already basically lost. If I don't lose this, I'm going to be absolutely, absolutely dumbfounded. Uh, down goes that one, down goes that one, and finally down goes that one. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Should I be using some heavies? Maybe. Um, previously I was using like one boat of heavies with two boats of rifles and trying to mix things in. Um, as you saw based on where I pulled my troops from, I have experimented with all bombardiers. Let me know what you're using. I'm in a weird spot where I try not to watch many attacks because I try to come up with things on my own because I don't want to be copying what other people are doing. I don't want to be one of those creators who steals people's catchphrases and says things and so uh, maybe I'm trying to be too pure, trying to be too... Anyways, let me know how you're doing things. If you're using bombardiers, let me know how and when and why. Um, this account just waiting to get to six engine rooms. That's all I'm after on this one. Uh, we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring a boat of heavies on this one. These straightforward ones can be very, very much straightforward, but they can also be awful. So we're gonna send you there, you there, and then just all of our bombardiers into this neighborhood. Should be able to just walk through this base, whether or not that happens, we're going to find out. Those left-hand side rocket launchers, I probably placed all of my riflemen in the wrong spots, but I think we should be able to just walk through this. I am going to go something like this. I tend to waste my gunboat energy with all of these guys, but we should be able to just keep getting second winds. Second wind, second wind, second wind, as long as Kavon doesn't get shot in the face, as Kavon tends to do. And then we're just walking through all of this stuff, sending our troops over to this right-hand side because we don't care about those gosh darn uh, rocket launchers. And now our heavy heavies helping clear those mines. You know what? Let's flare onto there. Should be able to shock all this stuff, getting all of our bombardiers out. And these straightforward bases, you can get great times on as long as you just walk straight through them using bombardiers. That's a far better attack than the last one. Game seems a bit laggy. I'm not sure if that's my replays or my recording, but let me know if you see that being laggy. We lost. Of course we lost. Um, let's see. Are they using Seekers? Or do they just walk through it with Bombardiers? What are you doing, Zikala Rogue? I don't know how you say that name. If you can say that name, we'd love to hear that as well. Come on, drop your... Yeah, okay, Rocket Choppas. Rocket Choppas and Seekers. That's kind of a cool combo. Have not seen that yet on the season. Seekers not doing a heck of a lot of good things for them, to be completely honest. But I, I, t I tip my cap to you. This season has lots and lots and lots of metas. People using Seekers, people using Rocket Choppas, Scorchers, Heavy Choppas are coming, Bullet, Kavon... I haven't yet to see anyone use Everspark. She's off to the side. Kavon, we already have. We've already got him maxed, likely. Is my Kavon even maxed? Oh, we did max him. Okay, so uh, Shock Bombs probably would help us if I maxed those a bit. But for right now, all I'm doing is holding those keys. Keep your keys for six engine rooms. I covered that in previous videos, so do check the cards for those. Now, I need your opinion. Is... The reserve size for warships broken? Or am I just... Like, if we look at this, I loaded my troops 
with Rifleman like 10 hours ago. We're still sitting at 208 out of 416. Should that continue to fill if your troops are sitting in the landing crafts? I think so. It's a reserve size. Like, like if we load all rocket choppers, for example, sure, our reserve size for a Rifleman goes back to 416 out of 416. I think if your troops are in your landing crafts, your reserve size should fill all the way. Obviously, you couldn't take them out of your landing crafts, so maybe that's why they did it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, because every time I load the game on this account that doesn't have instant training, and I see that I still only have 12 out of 20, it bugs me, and I could be just making things up. Let me know if that bugs you, or just you just have instant training on all your accounts. This is my low-level engine room locked account. You've probably seen me do these, these attacks every single time, but you know what? Wanted to show them one more time in case you're new to the channel. Three engine rooms. You can crush people. You probably can get to rank 18 if you time things very, very well. I am not sure this account's going to get there just based on time and availability and the fact that it's my third account, but... We are going to give it the old college try as we get our shocks out, getting our troops out, trying to get all of these engine rooms down. Need that next shock, sending our troops over that void where they slow down bit by stinking little bit. Three minutes, 18 seconds. Lost more rocket choppers than I would like to. Generally, you don't have to lose many, but people's bases are getting smarter and smarter. And that gap between engine rooms getting bigger and bigger. So three engine rooms, easy, easy to collect. Better than two if you're just trying to collect your chests. Use those rocket choppers. You can go up the front as well. This ramp obviously is shorter than this ramp, so it's a little bit faster to go from the right, but most people's defenses don't allow that. Against my base, 100%. What I would do against my base is I would drop all of my rocket choppers here, you're going to do is one shock, get that one right there down, then you're going to flare up to there, use one more shock, and then flare on over, and again, one more shock. My base is not a good one. Don't copy me. This base is not great. Um, how I would improve it, I don't even know. I am not a base designer. I am a base copier a thousand, thousand percent. Let's just see if we can't do an op hit. Nope, the op is down. I think the operation is down on every single one of my accounts based on the time of day when these attacks are recorded. So this is Kindergarten 9. No room here, but again, I always make room for people on YouTube because as you can see here, BSR, I have have my eye on you, BSR. What have you done for operations? Zero hits, six intel on the week. So that BSR character is gonzo. If you want to spot, even though that's a level, like, we're going to kick a level 71 here. Um, we're going to say, come back when active. Always, always, always in a task force, especially in a 50-member task force. Keep it active. Kick people out. But I tell this every time, a kick is not a ban. Uh, where is Nomad? I've been keeping an eye on Nomad Island as well. Intel's a little bit better. They can stick around. Kicking people is so important to the health of your task force. If you're looking down this list and you're seeing people with zeros, they'd better have intel, they'd better be chatting. This task force, you need to do two of three things. Number one, get intel. Number two, attack operations. And number three, chat. Task forces are all about collaboration, all about having fun. And if you're not doing two of those three things, then we don't have a spot for you to be completely Frank. Okay, no operation attacks left for me, unfortunately. So we're going to focus on these yellow school buses. I'm going to show you how I like to clear my map with them. We won't be touching Imitation Game. As I said, until Imitation Game has HQ-25s with critter launchers, we're dealing with technology that hasn't been updated in two plus years. So forget that noise. Let's go get some intel. Let's go get some rewards for our task force and for ourselves, obviously. We, first and foremost, are going to get rid of you, because why the heck not? Let's get rid of the shock blaster. That's going to not 
It's gonna help us not lose some troops. How about that? Then we're gonna go like this. We're gonna bring, I like to go on an angle just so that they spread as wide as possible. And then just walking through. I like to throw a lot of critters. I probably throw more critters than I reasonably should. But let's be honest, nothing is going to stop these guys walking through. The whole goal here is to lose zero troops. And this base has at least two prototypes, maybe more. And we should lose zero troops. There is no good reason to lose troops when you've got the heavy choppas. But do be aware, heavy choppas are just dropping heavies. You definitely, definitely, definitely need some firepower behind them. I've seen people throwing all heavy choppas at bases and it is not a great idea. You just don't have enough damage. You end up sitting there just watching and watching and waiting and waiting. Could we throw some GBE towards the back? Probably, but we're just gonna walk through this. Low levels. Uh, not nearly as easy. The reason why bombardiers are so good with heavy choppas is that their range is so, so, so impressive. You can use grenadiers behind them. Uh, it's just not as good. You can also use zookas in behind them, but you will end up losing more zookas. Uh, let's do a grenadier hit just to show you that it is possible. I'm not going to do it on a low level because we've already switched accounts too many times. By the way, if you don't have multiple accounts, do consider checking out the cards. It is free, it is easy, and especially if you don't have instant training, it is a great, oh my gosh, one, two, is that all purples? That is a lot of GBE. This private stew would be tickling bases all day, every day. We're gonna go left simply because I don't wanna deal with mortars with these guys, and then just grenadiers. Grenadiers, Grenadiers, Grenadiers. Um, Stu, oh, no, no, you see that? Uh, if you rewind that, in Mines, they had written the name Stu. By the way, do be careful what the heck you write in Mines. What, saw someone on Discord this morning who was banned because they had written profanity in their Mines. With, more, with Grenadiers, we need to be more cautious because Grenadiers don't outrange mortars. It just takes more work to use Grenadiers. Is it better? No. Uh, bombardiers are far, far better. Bombardiers changed the game when they were added. Grenadiers for a long, long time were this fringe troop that only people who really, really knew how to use them used them. And now almost no one uses them. Grenadiers are great. I highly, highly recommend giving them a go, but they're just not as good as other troops. At low levels, yes, they are one of the strongest low level troops you can possibly, possibly use. I know that sounds insane. Most of you are saying, but Zed, they miss all the time. And that missing is what makes them so darn strong. And we took down this base with no losses as well. So Grenadiers are very, very, very viable but they take some babysitting. They will get into range of mortars. They will get into range of boom cannons. Boom cannons, less of an issue when it comes to using them with heavy choppas, but it's, it can be very, very, very frustrating. Now, many of you would probably go left. I like to go right. I wanna go towards the danger to start with. Uh, I highly, highly recommend going towards the danger to start with. That means that when you have your heavy choppas full and complete and standing in strong, you've got all of their best defenses. You want to go your best versus their best is my general opinion because you're going to have way less gunboat energy later on. So going directly at them is going to set you up for the best successes. I think. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on that. Would you have gone left on this base or would you have gone right? We're going to get rid of, I hate critter launchers. I love critter launchers. I love they've added them to the game. I love that they've changed the dynamic of things, but I also hate critter launchers because they just make you have to pay attention to them when I would rather be watching this core get blown up by my grenadiers and by my heavies. Now you'll notice dropping those explosive drones behind your troops. That allows them to become unshocked and then run forwards. It means they don't get shot when they're sitting there waiting to unfreeze. Little things, little things, little things. We did lose a heavy choppa though. I probably threw my shock a little bit late. That doom cannon got a shot in early. So 
that is gonna be it for me. Scorcher Life Leech, probably wanna boost that up. If not, make sure you boost that shock bomb duration. Just remember, if you're going to be doing any kind of shocking bullet hits, that shock bomb duration will ruin your hit. Um, that's going to be it for me, though. Have a great weekend. Thank you for coming in. Commenting, reminder, potential prize for commenters. Uh, as my birthday draws very, very close, I spoil you instead of you spoiling me. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmon. Peace.